crafty friends, Jen Cassell here. I am super excited to be back with Chibitronics, and today we're going to get a head start on our holiday card making. I have a really fun interactive shaker and light up card. And what makes it interactive? If you slide your towel, you can check on your cookies when the lights come on inside the oven. Super fun. I'll turn that off to conserve battery. So I used the die from Scrap Diva Designs. This is the oven uh, mini album die. It measures about five by five and a half. So this will fit in a six by six envelope. So I am going to take you along and show you how I created this fun interactive card. Um, this is a shaped card that comes up at the top. I will show you how I completed this portion as well. And what you'll need from Chibi is the uh, fabric tape as well as some LED lights. Not pictured, you're obviously going to need a battery to power your circuit. So if you're interested in the tutorial, stay tuned. To create the base for my circuit, I'm going to take the base of my card as well as the oven portion that I've already started to put together. Um, I've die cut the burners as well as the knobs and place them. And then this is the oven door. I am going to put all three of these together and you might find, I like using clamps for this. And these are just simple mini binder clamps. And I'm going to add one over here and I'll add one over here as well. I'm going to make the slot to make my towel move at the top. Your handle is gonna go right about here. Grab your ruler and I will make my towel go right about here. I'm gonna go from here to about there. And then I'm just going to move it just slightly. I want about a millimeter and run a second line. And then just cut with my Excel blade a little rectangle. And you're left with something like this. So before I take my um, sandwich apart here. I am going to add my lights. So I'm going to put my first light right about here and my second light right about here. I want them towards the middle of my uh, oven door. Now you can use a hole punch. You can, I'm just going to go ahead and use my pokey tool and put those through. Now you don't actually have to press through this base. Doesn't really matter. Um, we're going to be covering up the back anyway. We're gonna start drawing on our circuit. I like to grab my stencil for this. It just makes everything easier. And place where my lights are going to go. And the same thing for this one right here. Stencil makes it pretty easy to do this part. My battery is going to go towards the bottom. So I'll put that in the middle right about here. So this is my negative. This is my plus. Go ahead and put that right here, just to remind myself. And I'm going to bring the plus portion down and around like this. I'm going to avoid my line right here, bring it down and over like this. And I'm gonna line it up right here, bring it back down and bring it around like this. For my negative portion, I'm gonna bring it over here and then up and around. Now it's time to grab your conducive tape and start following those lines. 
make sure that when you're creating your circuit, you're not breaking it by pulling your tape up at the corner. I just like to miter, essentially miter my corners here. Okay, and then one more. Cut my tape and I'm just going to bring it under and tuck it on the other side. So we have this right here. Continue your circuit by doing the exact same thing. I'm going to put it underneath like that. and then cut it off. So now we have our positive ran, and now let's work on our negative. Go ahead and start at the lights. Okay, and then one more. To place my battery, I am going to use some double-sided tape. I'm just going to apply there. And here. Place the positive side of your battery down. And add your conducive tape on top to the negative side of the battery. Now we can go ahead and place our lights. And I like to add just a little more of the conducive tape to the top of those lights. Really make sure those lights stay on. Now it's just time to check and see if our circuit works. And boom. We have light. Perfect. Okay, we've created our circuit. Now we're going to have to create the sliding mechanism that is going to use, be used to roll the towel back and forth. So I've already cut out a one by three inch of paper. We're going to score it one half inch on either side and then a quarter of an inch in between. So half, quarter, 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 half, okay? I'm doing this in the same colored paper as the front of my oven door. In fact, I just used this portion here. Grab our tape and you're going to want to cut it slightly larger than three inches. And I'm going to apply it directly to the edge of my sliding mechanism and then fold over. And now I'm going to start by folding. I'm going to bring this inward. I'm going to bring this inward. So at this point you should have this, okay? Once again, I'm going to accordion fold. I'm going to leave this down and push inward. Okay, and then I'm going to bring this up and over. So you should have something that looks like a like an H at the end. And I'm going to go ahead and use some double-sided tape on this portion right here. what we should have at this point. I'm squeezing this tip together. 
so I can bring it down like this. And here we go. You know that we have light. I'm going to grab some of my quarter of an inch foam strips and start applying a base. I'm using my foam strips on the interior by my slit and that'll help keep this in place. Make sure that you do not cover this portion here so you can make contact with your circuit. For the moment, I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. And now I am going to apply the front of my card. Just line it up carefully. Don't press down until you know you have everything in the right place. To create the shaker portion of my card, I'm gonna go ahead and add my door oven detail first. Then I'm going to flip it over and apply some double-sided tape right around my oven door. Go ahead and apply a piece of acetate right on top of that. Make sure that it does not cover your slit at the top. And then I will grab some more of my quarter of an inch strips and just go right around that oven window. Now you can go ahead and add some shaker mix. I'm just gonna add some fun sprinkles because what are Christmas cookies without sprinkles? I'm not gonna go too crazy on these. And then finally, I'm going to add some cute little gingies and peppermints to my mix. Add your second layer of acetate to the top to close up your shaker. Now you've got a cute little gingy shaker. Once again, add some of your foam strips. I'm going to bring it right up to the edge. Kind of creates a nice enclosure for you. Now grab your card and once again make sure to line everything up and insert your sliding mechanism and boom our oven lights are on to check on our cookies. Now we can place our oven handle and I'm going to pop that on uh, towards the top and I have used some foam dots for this. Kind of find your center, just like that. Good, okay. I'm going to use this cute little girl green ribbon to create my towel. And I'm gonna use hot glue for this portion and just throw some hot glue right on top of that. Once again, I'm going to add a little hot glue to my ribbon, avoiding my handle of the door, and then bring it over like that. I like mine right about it here. Move our towel and check on our cookies. So cute. What a fun little interactive card for the holidays. All right, now that we have, I'll turn my battery off. Now that we have the front of our card completed, to make the, this is a really easy tip that I have for creating a shaped card base. So I went ahead and I've cut two of my back ovens and then I just created a simple shim for the top. So this is a one by three piece of paper that I scored at the half and then I just connected the two using that shim so that it opens like this. And you're gonna cover that shim. This is the stitched portion. I like using liquid glue. I use Barely Art for this. 
I do have a coupon code that I will leave in the comment section. It's my bone folder to really press this down. I like to give everything a once over with my bone folder. And now we can just add our oven to the front of the car. Okay, so I went ahead and I added a little decoration to the bottom. These are just some pop-up stickers that I had in my collection, as well as some chipboard gingies and little baking items I thought were so cute. Just an adorable little card, perfect for the holiday season. And boom, we've got our light up mechanism, checking on our cookies. When you flip it open, have a merry little Christmas. So cute. Love, love, love. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more crafty content. We'll see you in the next crafty video. Bye!